Hello my friend and a happy new year to you. Today I'm going to show you how to use an overlay image to make your ne next level. I'm just going to use one from uh, Google Maps but uh, you can take one from anywhere. So we're just going to take this. Um, what you need to do is uh, if you go into him more you have a measure tool uh, it's important that you make your that you make the correct measures. So we put a dot here, one over around here. That was too large. If we need it to be one kilometer, sure you can uh, make it uh, larger if you want uh, two kilometer. Oops, are we nearly there? Yeah, that's around. Uh, need to be that precise but uh, the more precise the better. Then we need to match it to two kilometers in this direction here and try to make them straight these lines. Is this straight? Let's just try to move it up here. No not really. That looks straight and here. Yeah that looks fine. So let's try to use this area as an overlay. So what I do is just uh, press print screen. Then I paste it into my uh, graphic application. You can use whatever you wish. And I just take these corners like so. This will uh, give us a one kilometer by one kilometer area. And we will save it as um, it don't really matter what format you save it. Oh, what did I do there? Save as, call it overlay one kilometer. Oops, then we go into max easy terrain. Just remove the trees for now, and then we have a new option called import overlay image. And we just select the map we just created. And you can see all the roads and everything is now visible. But uh, again, you need to match it to the area you have captured. So uh, we are going to set it to one kilometer here. And then just, oh, we just need to set that to zero. And matches here, like so. Then we're going to raise it minus 250 and set all the uh, portal generation to uh, zero scale. That way we get a flat area. Let's see here where we have our overlay. And so, or we can just try to match it better with the colors of the map you can see is green. So let's switch off the overlay for a second and uh, adjust. Yeah, green like so, perhaps darker one. And fade it a bit. Like this. Let's check it out. Yeah, it matches uh, okay. And then we can just start to sculpt our terrain and. Uh, make our roads and paths. So let's try that. We can start by just uh, raising some terrain up here. Oh well. I think we should uh, make it a little bit noisy, this one. So don't get so even. You can always uh, put the toggle the overlay so we can see what you're doing. Let's just try to draw this pass as a quick test. Go to pass, draw new pass, and I'm going just to 
don't need the spline for this, we're just going to make some straight lines. Going down here, down here, up to this point, going all the way up here, over here, down here, here, and back again, up to this point, over here, and there. Okay, let's tr just try to make that. Then we need to match the pass size. I think this is around 150 in size. And set it to the texture we like. And create the pass. Like that. That seems to match pretty well. I'm happy with that. So, now we can just try to add some trees. Yeah. Uh, we just need to make sure we our trees can go down. I don't want them so large. Closer to the water. Like here, that's fine. And then we delete all of them. And then we start to draw our own trees. Start with this area over here. It's uh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I know there are trees here, so we just make it a little bit smaller. Ah, perhaps we need more. Yeah. So that's how you can just uh, draw on top of a uh, Google map to make your new level from real data. Same as goes when you do uh, when you do roads. We can just try to make one here. It's pretty straight this one, so that's an easy one. All the way down here. Down there and all the way to here. I think this, yeah, well, I think that's the correct size. So we just change it to a road text instead and create it. Yeah, so now we also have our first street. It's beginning to look great. Ah, da, 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 da. we need some trees here and here. Well, let's see how it looks. Yeah, we have our street and our passes over here, and uh, so this is the way to go if you want to use an old image and have some uh, real data on your terrain. And the uh, easy way to sculpt roads and stuff in the real world sizes. You can just switch it up and see your progress. So, that was just what I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, remember to subscribe to my channel below so you don't, don't miss any videos. Until next time, have a great day.